Hello, my name is Crystalline Matei and I'm a Creative Memories Advisor as well as a content contributor for the Creative Memories Home Office. Today I have a layout that I'd like to share with you that is a really easy one <clears throat> and it's one that can be made in so many different ways. So I just wanted to share that with you. It's one that I created for the Creative Memories blog and it is, it is a grid layout, okay? And I created it using the embellishments of the San Francisco, Las Vegas, and Nashville scenes, embellishments, and the Passport to Adventure collection. And what I, what I set out to do with this layout was create something that would feature these horizontal, you know, these landscape images of the city skyline and they're about six inches wide and so I wanted to find something that would be that would work well for those and so I made this layout and variations of it for all three of those cities and it worked out really well because we have the embellishment on this six inch strip and then at the bottom of the grid we have places for other embellishments and so you kind of get this nice triangle um, feature that really helps draw your eye across the layout. And so I thought this would be a fun one to use for a two-page layout because I really love to you make two-page spreads and I think many of you probably do too. And by stretching this into two pages we can take instead of a six inch embellishment we can take a, a normal size 12 inch embellishment and stretch it across the layout and have a similar effect. So I thought I would try this with this stunning new Birds and Blossoms collection. So this one has beautiful laser cut borders and a lot of them are, are horizontal again as well. And there are so many different beautiful ones that would work for this. And I think, we'll see how it goes, but I'm kind of leaning toward one of these. So I kind of wanted a, a little bit of the scene. So we're gonna start with this and see what we think of that. And then we're gonna build a layout from there. So let's just start with some base pages. And for this, I, I really wanted to use this stripe to place in these little areas here. But I also want the back side of this paper, which is this beautiful, leafy pattern and so I'm going to use basic white cardstock as my background and I'm just going to build the layout on this okay so you could choose to do this with just your um, refill pages white scrapbook refill pages or your insert sheets for your top loading sleeves however you want to do it but that's going to be sort of the base that I build this on and so, like I said, I'm going to use the colors kind of featured in this stripe. And I'm going to use this. And I love also these three colors that are featured in this stripe. So let's get going. And first off, I'm going to kind of create the base paper, which is going to be a seven inch piece. So I'm going to take my two sheets of this beautiful stripe and I'm just going to cut I'm going to cut making sure I've got the orientation the way I want cut these at seven inches okay so this will stretch across my layout right in the middle and then I'm going to take these I'm, I still have them stacked and I'm going to cut two three eighths inch stripes. Okay, so I've got those taken care of. And then I wanna have these other colors. So I've got these strips that are gonna go across the top and the bottom. They show up yellow here. I'm gonna make them green. And so we need two of them at two inches and two at three inches. And 
finally, we've got the piece that is going to go down the, the whole length of the layout, and that I'm going to make blue. Um, you really could go, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a prominent feature of the layout, so if you wanted something a little bit more neutral, you know, maybe you'd go with the brown. Hmm, now I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to stick with my original blue. I really like it. It's so pretty. And so we've got all of our paper cut. Okay. So let's start building this layout. <clears throat> I really like a good grid layout. I think it, <clears throat> it makes for easy pages. Gonna place a little repositionable adhesive on my mats just to kind of hold my layout in place while I'm working. You can always rub that off later. Okay, so these two are gonna go in the center, <clears throat> and we're gonna place these on top, oops, and these on the bottom. It's already starting out really pretty, isn't it? So then our next pieces are going to be these, and this is really going to pop some color up. And so I want these to, to the edges to be about a two, two and a quarter inches from the edge, from the inner edge. Again, this is why it really helps to create my layouts right on the 13 inch cutting mat because I can just easily line things up. got our stripes and this is going to kind of pull everything together and we're just going to place the stripes along each of the seams. Okay, beautiful so far. I love these colors and it's really giving me spring fever. <laughs> All right, so another feature of this is going to be, um, you know, the embellishments, we'll, we'll do that last. 
but we've got these spots for three inch photos and we have spots for vertical photos. Now, if you've got more horizontal photos, you could easy, you could choose to rotate your sketch one way or the other. And then you would just want to pick an embellishment that isn't a horizontal feature. It could just be anything that could go vertically and you'll be fine with that. So you can manipulate it however you need to. But I am just gonna use this light brown speckled paper. Looks like the little eggs, little brown specked eggs. And I'm gonna just cut my, I'm gonna pretend these are my um, four inch photo or my three inch photos. And we'll just get these done right now. And then I'm also going to make photo mats. So these are going to be three and three quarters by five and a quarter. Okay, so now we'll just lay out our photos. I need to cut a couple more of these. Good thing I am set on paper. Three and three quarters by five and a quarter. All right, so now we're just going to lay these out. So we're going to have our our three and a half or our three and a half by five inch photos are going to go here, and we're just kind of centering this. And I like to kind of leave the same amount of space between the photos as I can, so kind of top and bottom is even, and then if there's even space between all of these, and then I will place my three by three inch photos right here. And these weren't meant to be matted. I just wanted to be able to show where they would go. But you could, you if you wanted to do it like this, you could make your photos two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So I'm gonna tape these down. Okay, now let's get to the decorating part. So this is where I come in with this. And again, we could try any number of our embellishments. So this one would look like that. Kind of takes up a lot of the space, but it is really pretty. We could go with some little cute little bird's nests. That's pretty. Uh, we've got our little, our little wrens or whatever they are. That would be cute too. Oh, hard to make decisions, isn't it? And we could add some color. We could bring in some of these oranges and yellows. I wish I could have you all vote right now because I'm having a hard time deciding. They are really, really cute. I think every single one of these would work. I think I'm gonna go with these cute little birds. Okay, so at this point, you just wanna cut these in half. So you're gonna have six inches on either side. So I'm just gonna line this up and look for that center. And if you want to even it out a little bit with your scissors, you sure can. I'm just gonna go ahead and tape it. 
This is the other thing. You've got all these choices because you've got colors, different colors on the other side. I love that. I'm just going to line up this cut right on the seam there. Okay, so we have kind of our, our main little embellishment piece here. And now we want to go down to these corners. And you'll see that, you know, this is how I had done it before. Now when we're doing a two page layout, we don't necessarily have to follow the same thing. I'm going to, I'm going to focus on embellishing these outer corners. So I'm bringing in my stickers and taking a look at what we have here. And we want to get find a nice title. And then we want to find some little scene that we can create with our stickers. So I know I love the little birdhouse. I love that sentiment. And I could create my little title on the top. I'm just gonna grab my foam squares. And I'm gonna place this here for now. We'll, we'll see what we end up doing. And this guy, this guy, I just want to be over here because I just really, really want to use a birdhouse. And let's see. You really can't go wrong when you've got all these stickers that are all so beautiful. You really just can play and nothing is gonna be a wrong decision, right? Two birds of a feather down here. Okay, so we've got one little spot here. We've got our part up here. And then what do we want to do over on this side? Um, we could stick with the bird theme. We could just go with flowers. Let's bring a little greenery into this one. How about? Now we've got these just adorable little butterflies. And I love these little stickers too because they kind of take, they kind of bring the blue in. And you could add these to a, a photo. They could go in your, you know, corners, which would be really cute. So I'm going to consider.
putting a little thing like this on the corners. <clears throat> just to kind of draw, I'm not putting anything in these two corners because I just really want my eye to kind of be going from here to here. So I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. And oftentimes, you know, I'll just take my layout and I will, I will kind of pause, you know, especially if I don't have my photos on it right, right away, because I want to give myself a little space to kind of take a look and see where I might want to add something else. So I might choose to, I might choose to add um, a journal box in the corner. I might actually use one of these as a journal box. It really depends um, when I get my photos how I want to do that. This would also be an opportunity to take out the variety mats and even use a mat design. You could use a mat in the corners. You could you could use you know a, a portion of this cut out and place it here for your journal box. You know, you could do any number of things. So this is kind of a good good time to pause and, and just kind of take a look at what we've done here. So we've got the, the beginning layout. And I want to point out, this was printed from the blog. So in order to print the blog sketches and directions and all of that, you just go down to the bottom where you find a little print PDF. And you can, when you, when you click on that, as you hover over your um, the whole thing, you can delete any section that you don't want to print. So in this case, I only I wanted to only print this sketch, not the other three sketches that were contained in this in this particular post. And I just deleted all the all the words, all the pictures, and I got it down to just what I wanted. It's so helpful to be able to print those. So. This is the original. Um, the directions actually for this this particular sketch will be showing up on the blog very soon. Um, for now, you can get the sketch and the measurements that you just use this uh, video demonstration as as a means to get your dimensions that I pointed out, and you can just go to town with this one. So it's easy to take a sketch like this and create a two-page layout like this. So I hope you've enjoyed this today. If you are at all searching for a Creative Memories Advisor and you don't have one, I would be most happy to help you out. You can just find my link right here. And of course, if you like watching my videos, I hope you'll click like and subscribe and hit ring the bell so that the next time a video is posted, you'll be the first to know. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.